Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to do another one of my brand videos. I had a viewer comment in one of my recent, um, my last brand video that they'd like to see Animal Alley and I thought that's a really good, good one to pick because I don't find them very often anymore. They were a Toys R Us exclusive plush and they're just fewer and fewer. I went and looked in my store. I have 25 Animal Alley plush. None of them really high dollar, um, but they're just harder and harder to find. And a lot of times um, the tags fade when they get washed. So there's probably more out there that I could find, but I don't know that they're at Animal Alley right away and I may just pass them up. So we're going to do Animal Alley. I might do Commonwealth next. I'm contemplating that one because that's another brand I really like, especially the vintage stuff. But let's get going. All right. How I do this is I go in and I search Animal Alley plush. Then I go in and I filter by used and highest. No, used and and sold. Of course, I'm going to pick used because that's what we're going to find at yard sales. You're not going to find um, often new with tag toys. And even if they are new with tag, um, they're not really new if you're finding them at yard sales and thrift stores and estate sales. They're used with tags. But, and then I'm going to sort by um, highest first. So I picked not as many as I normally do, but it's like from 30s up and up. So let's just go ahead and get this started. All right. First one that I found here is an uh, baby white lamb plush satin ears. If you see plush with satin ears, definitely check it any brand because a lot of times those are favorites of children to hold on to and they become like loveys to them. Um, I do really well with plush with satin, you know, loveys with satin undersides, plush with satin ears and stuff like that. This um, sold for $33.99. Um, I didn't put on here if there was no feedback left, but I did mark on the ones that they did um, leave feedback, the buyer left feedback because I think it gives it more credibility. I do make a concerted effort um, to check everything in the solds. To, I go into the seller's feedback and see if feedback was left. If there's no feedback, I go back into their store to see if it was relisted. I check on Terapeak also to see if I see where it's been sold subsequent times. It's just ways that I check to see if these are legit cells. All right. Second is this toy. Well, a lot of them are going to say Animal Alley and Toys R Us. This is a chubby blue horse, 13 inches. I think it's adorable. $34.95. You're going to notice with a lot of these, they're going to be like the Kelly toy one that I shared with you. A lot of them are oversized plush. I try to stay away from them, but I don't do very well. I end up getting them, you know, make sure when, if you buy oversized plush before you list it, make sure you have the appropriate size box to fit it in um, because you want to make sure you have the exact weight and dimensions. This next one is an Animal Alley Hubert plush very large, 25 inches. It also says Commonwealth. I saw quite a few that were also Commonwealth plush. This sold for $35. This is kind of neat. It's a silverback gorilla, 24 inches tall. That would probably take a large box. Sold for $35. love this. It's a lot of dogs. I talk about selling dogs quite often. I do really well, especially when you can figure out the breed and be able to put that in the description also. This is an English sheepdog, 28 inches. It sold for $35. Let's 
Look at this one. I think this might have to be one of my favorites. Just a cute little boxer. 13 inch. It sold for $39.98. Purple, lavender. I often use both of those words also. Dog plush. 14 inch. It sold for $39.99. I like finding plush that are star shaped. There are several brands that do them. They tend to be very collectible. I want to say Slumber Babies is one of them. I can't remember the other name, but those do excellent if you ever find them. But just one of the tails. If you see a plush that's shaped like a star, see how he's, um, check it out. This is a blue gingham puppy dog. It sold for $39.99 and the buyer left feedback for the seller, positive feedback. This kind of looks rough, but it's a blue kitten from 2000. Kind of has that terry cloth looking fabric on it. It's just it sold for forty dollars so you know some people might not even give that a second look because it it definitely shows where look at even the tag it has writing on it and definitely has faded but I will definitely be watching for a blue cat here's another cat this one is a white one again definitely shows some wear even looks a little matted if I do say um in fact, yeah, they've put it in their description. First seems to be matted. Probably was dried in a dryer. Don't dry plush in a dryer. Let them air dry for a couple of days. Still sold for $42.46. Very cute lion plush. I have like two totes that are designated for lions. I don't find a lot of them. That's kind of odd. Nevertheless, this is from 2017. It sold for $47.99 and positive feedback was left. Here's another cute dog, black and white, floppy, lying down from 2007. It sold for $48. Another kind of a large plush, 21 inches. It's just says teddy bear stuffed plush, big fuzzy nose. Sold for $49.95. This is a Fox Terrier dog. It does have its tags. This is how I do it. Even if it has paper tags, I'm going to list it as used and state that it came with tags or like this one said, excellent condition. Sold for $49.95. 30 inch tiger so quite large um a bengal tire it sold for $49.99 it too looks like it's kind of got a little bit of a faded tag rottweiler i do really well with rottweilers even like from walmart um they just it's one of the dog breeds that um i don't i don't think any brand doesn't do well. Um, this one is 32 inches. It sold for $49.99. Cute little rabbit, black and white, um, lop-eared. Lop Isn't that what it's called when their ears are hanging like that? Um, from 2000, sold for $50. An Animal Alley Labrador Retriever. Life size they have in here, 31 inches. It sold for $50. I saw brown dogs also and the lighter, like yellowish. All of them seem to probably be in like the 30s, 40s, 50s. So again, just dog breeds. Cute little 12 inch white dog with pink spots. Sold for $55.57. Look at this one, another boxer. It looks bigger than the other one. This one sold for $58.61. 
big old alligator, 33 inches long. It sold for $59. I'd say some of them, like that alligator, you could probably roll it up and still be able to fit it in a large priority box. All right, this is a rhinoceros. I tried to show different animals in the stuffed animals um, series. This is a 30 inch um, rhino, sold for $59.99. Even a bear. This is Cole, a black and brown bear. It says 29 to 30 inches, sold for $60. Pink Unicorn from 2000, it says it has pastel rainbow mane. It sold for $65. Here's another like pink pony, four feet, huge jumbo, all the words. It sold for $65. This would have caught my attention. Just a gray cat panther they have from 2001. Just very unique color. Not the typical. It sold for $69.95. This was some type of dog, but it has like a sleeping mat attached to it. It sold for $79. Trying to see. Yeah. Very cute. All right. Siberian Huskies always do well also. This one was 23 inches long. It sold for $80. And positive feedback was left. Now there were lots of this dog named Darby in different colors. This was a pink one. There was different shades of brown, just all kinds of them. All of them typical. Long ears, lying flat, long. This one was 38 inches. It sold for $80. Best offer. All right, getting up into some of the big dollars. This is, I guess its name was Rough because I saw several um, examples of this. He's a Collie, looks like Lassie. It sold for $115 and positive feedback was left. All right, this is a German Shepherd. Again, another one of the large dogs. It sold for $100 and positive feedback was left. Look at this, it's a white tiger mama holding its cub in its mouth. That is adorable. 26 inches long. It sold for $100 and positive feedback was left. It's funny, all these high dollar ones left positive feedback, which is very helpful for us when we're doing comps and stuff. Here's another one of the Darbies I wanted to show. Um, 42 inches in the brown shade. It sold for $125 and positive feedback was left. This is, there were lots of ponies, but this is the one that sold for the highest. Um, there was a pink one also that not as quite, um, but five feet, 60 inches long. I think you can see they've got it balanced over the top of a recliner. It sold for $120 and positive feedback was left. This is a Toys R Us. It says Sly Fox Plush. 27 inches long. I've done that too. Sometimes before I was doing like tape measure, which I do now, every picture includes a tape measure on how, like if I say it's 27 inches, um, I'll show it being long or like from the ear down to the feet. Um, but I would used to say like from nose to tail, stuff like that. But this fox sold for $184.50. But not the big one. Right here's our big one. A dog. Of course, this is a Border Collie. They say life size, 52 inches. It sold for $189. Now we're all going to be watching for the large plush Animal Alley. 
Not all of them were large, but quite a few were. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Lots of things for us to try to get back in our brains to be watching for when we're out and about yard sales, estate sales, um, at the bins, because that's where I'm heading in a few days. Yay, can't wait. Um, do some sourcing, some relaxing, lots of time with family, playing games. We'd like to play games when we're all together, so it's gonna be fun. But, all right, it's late. I'm ready to call it a day. Bye.